Hello. Life in the rough, in the company of friends. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another scald come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You're talking with him now, and you are. Ah, oh, by God's blood, my day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up.
faced. This is Humboldt's safe haven. There we be. Humboldt, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Humboldt. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Humboldt, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln. Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible! Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. 
I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the Burrish Nag of Lincolnshire. Told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? <laughs> Hunwald is in trouble. They call this. Leave him be. You're going down. He brought us bloody day. Oh, I have been struck down. Cruise within an inch of my life. But I will survive. I must continue as you would, Eivor. And if I should expire, avenge me. The same with the Silver Days paying us. We have this. Oh! Suffer! No paradise where you're going! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me? The son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairels and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look, boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse! Okay. Mercy and soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. You shouldn't be seen here. I hope you work. No 
are Shin guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. Town was your home? It was, and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I was more proudly among the people I love. How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Oh. Silver to buy peat from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. There's damp on the air. I fear grey clouds will gather soon. Aye, and foul deeds are brewing. The horses can feel it too. Laying and rolling their eyes. That's them being horses, mate. Hunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt.
Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does it? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house and all? Oh, from time to time. Yes. Well, you Wonder if you see solo, solo movers that are going to A good traveler. What seek you? Perhaps I can help. Where is the matter of my fee? All right. Look here. This spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know. Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunward, we had no news of your return. You might have sent a messenger and spared us the suspense. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north. Betting a Dane on some squalid farm. I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. <laughs> 